Hello there and welcome to A-Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at integrating of hyperbolics. So we can answer the first part of exercise 6e. It's a pretty difficult, long chapter, long exercise this one. So I've broken it down into two parts and even the second part is still pretty long. So let's get started on the basics then really. Some rules of differentiation that we went through in the last video are these uh, ex these um, differentials here. So shine differentiates to cosh, cosh differentiates to shine, tanch differentiates to sech squared, sech differentiates to minus tanch sech, cosech differentiates to minus coth cosech, and coth differentiates to minus cosech squared. So we can just use these rules in reverse and call them the rules, rules of integration because differentiation is the reverse of integration. So using the first rule in reverse, if I was to go back from the derivative to the original function, that would be integrating. So the integral of cosh x is shine x plus c. Integral of shine is cosh. Integral of sech squared is tanch. Integral of tanch sech is minus cosech because we can move the negatives to whichever side we wish just by multiplying through by minus one. The integral of cos cosech is minus cosech. The integral of cosech squared is minus cos. Some other little bonus ones that will be very helpful to know will be the integral of tanch. And we can do the integral of tanch using the Lun rule because remember tanch is shine over cosh and it's nice because the bottom differentiates to the top which is the Lun rule. So that would be Lun cosh. Also you could do the same thing for, for cos as well because cos is cosh over shine and when you differentiate the denominator you get the numerator so that's perfectly the Lun rule. So Lun shine is the answer there. Okay so we're going to go through five examples in this video just using the rules that we've seen previously and then maybe some integration by parts and some integration by substitution as well. So the first one the integral of cosh 4x. Well, just a reminder then, to differentiate, you multiply by the 4 that's inside the brackets, but remember for integrating, it's the reverse of that. So we divide by the 4 to the front. The fact that we've got a minus 1 there is neither here nor there. It will still be in the answer, but it won't affect the coefficient. So we divide by 4 to the front. Don't multiply. That's for differentiating. You divide by the 4 instead. So it's quarter shine 4x minus 1 plus c. So we, diff we um, divide by the coefficient factor and then we um, integrate cosh to shine. So we go to the second one then, integral of cosh squared 3x. Now just think about it, how would you, different, how would you integrate cos squared 3x? You'd use an identity, a cos double angle identity. So just a reminder of the cosh double angle identity is 2 cosh squared minus 1. So add the 1 to the other side and half both sides and you've got an identity for cosh that we're going to be using up here. But it's cosh squared 3x in the question so I'll just multiply the angles by 3 and now I've got half cosh 6x plus 1 as my identity. So I'm going to replace it with the identity then and it would be a half cosh 6x plus 1 that I'll be integrating and that's fine to integrate. It's really difficult to integrate a cosh squared or a cosh powered but a double angle or a 6 angle is absolutely fine because you just divide by that 6. So the answer here is going to be keep the half at the front then it's going to be uh, divide by the 6 in the bracket integrate the cosh to shine and remember the integral of 1 is just x plus c. And there we are that's the answer for that question. You expand the brackets if you want to. Right, so the next little tricky one is the integral of cosh to the power of 5, 2x, shine 2x as well. So we've got uh, one term that's to the power of something quite high. I'm thinking integration by substitution here, where I'm going to use u equals shine, sorry, u equals cosh 2x as my substitution here. And remember, whenever you do a substitution, you have to replace the dx at the end. So we do that by differentiating our substitution. du by dx will be 2 shine 2x, and then just uh, multiply and divide things onto the other side, and you get du divided by 2 shine 2x. So I'll substitute in u because u is cosh 2x, and it will be u to the power of 5. 
I can't really do much with Shine yet. Shine 2x will have to stay there, but I can replace my dx with what dx is equal to. It's du over 2 Shine 2x. And there we can cancel out the two Shine 2x's on the top and the bottom. We're going to have this half still there, so I'll factorize the half to the front. And now we've got something we can integrate u to the 5 du. That's perfect. The letters even match up there, which is really important. So it's going to be a half of 1 sixth u to the power of 6 plus c. But never leave that as your final answer. If your answer's in, if you have questions in terms of x, your answer should be in terms of x. So put x back in and it'd be 1 12th cosh to the power of 6, uh, 2x plus c. We're going to be doing something very similar with this one here, although it doesn't look like it yet. What we're going to do here is there's a little trick to do with shine to the power of 3x, and that is to rewrite it as shine squared times shine. So we'll do that, and then we'll recall the identity that cosh squared minus shine squared equals 1. So I'm going to rearrange that a little bit to turn it into cosh squared x minus 1 is equal to shine squared and replace shine squared with cosh squared x minus 1. Then I'm going to expand the brackets and now I've got two things that I can integrate. The first thing will be using a very similar technique to part C where you can do substitution on the cosh x here and then you can integrate it like that. The second term is just minus shine which will be really easy to integrate. So I'm not going to go through the long process of integrating this first thing here. All I'm going to tell you is that it's very similar to question C, just not using a 5, using a 2, and not having any complicated 2x's inside my angles there. So the answer here is going to be a third cosh 3, third cosh cubed x minus cosh plus C. And you can use the, you do the first part by integrating by substitution using u equals cosh x. And the last term, the last uh, question will be e to the 2x shine x. How do we integrate this? Well, you could do integration by parts, uh, but actually that's uh, going to be even trickier then actually the little trick to this is to get this into exponentials. Use the exponential definition of shine. And then all you're going to be integrating is just a bunch of uh, exponentials, which is absolutely fine. So recall your definition for the exponential uh, in terms of shine, for shine in terms of the exponentials. Uh, move that half to the front, expand your brackets, then integrate your exponentials, open up your brackets at the at the end, and there you are. So it's a little trick to this one here. If you've ever got e to the something x um, times by shine or cosh, uh, then just open up, recall the definition in terms of exponentials, and then you're just integrating an exponential there. Okay, so this video is covering questions 1, 2, and then 4 to 10 of exercise 6e. There's going to be a follow-up video covering the rest of the questions in the exercise, but I've got some questions here for you to practice on. Pause the video and give these questions a go. Okay, so the answer to question 2b is we divide by the third at the front, so that'll be multiply it by 3, so it'll be 3 shine, you leave alone the inside of the bracket, and then plus c. So there we are, a bit of standard integration there. And the next bit, remember that tanch x integrated to ln uh, cosh, because cosh was on the bottom, so the answer to this is going to be one quarter because you divide by that four to the front, ln of, um, what was it, cosh x, so it'd be cosh 4x plus c. And there we are, those are the two answers to these questions here. So make sure you've had a go at all of questions from 1 to 10, excluding question 3, uh, before you move on to the next video, because it's going to ramp up in difficulty a little bit in the next section, and I want you to be really secure on your foundations uh, before moving on to the next video. So thanks very much for watching, hopefully you found this useful, and uh, see you in the second part of exercise 6E.